different? No. Not that sound of music. Whether it's heavy metal <laughs> or classical, <laughs> music is a wonderful thing and it has inspired us for generations. Today I'm going to talk to you about music, but from a scientific perspective. We will look at how sound waves work, how we hear sound, and how different musical notes are produced by different instruments. To understand sound, it helps to understand waves. When drops of water hit my pool's surface, they create ripples. These are small waves moving along the water. Sound also moves in waves. For an object to make a sound, it must vibrate. These vibrations travel through the air the same way ripples move through water. When these vibrations get to our ears, it makes our eardrums vibrate. Then our brain converts this into sound. But let's get back to the sound of music. No, I said not that sound of music! String instruments produce their sound by vibration of the string. The string might be struck, as in a piano, plucked, as in a guitar, and bowed, as a cello or violin. The note produced by a vibrating string depends on three things. The tension of the string, the weight of the string, and the length of the string. A string can be made shorter by pressing on it with your finger, and so the string produces a higher pitched note. Brass instruments, as the name suggests, are made of brass. For these instruments, it's not a string that vibrates, but the air inside the tubes of the instrument. The note produced depends on two things. The tension of your lips to move the air through the tubes, and the length of the tube. Woodwind instruments, while not necessarily made out of wood, only wind. In other words, you have to blow into them. These instruments all consist of a tube with holes in it. The air in the tube is made to vibrate by either blowing air over an edge, as in a recorder or a flute, or using a vibrating reed, as in a clarinet or a saxophone. Covering the holes in a woodwind instrument, either with your fingers or using keys, like on a saxophone, make the tube longer, and so it changes the pitch of the note produced. All the instruments we've looked at today are making sounds in different ways, but they're all producing sound waves, and that is music to my ears. They all sound great, but especially when they are played together to make the sound of music. I said not that sound of music!